think defining the word forgiveness is is more present in the actions that you take and understanding that um, you can let go of hate, you can let go of bitterness, you can let go of um, even the harm that they may have done and you can begin your journey of healing from that point forward instead of harping on what happened to you, seeking justice for what may have happened to you or, or seeking some type of retribution for what happened to you. And when you let that go, that's when you begin the, the, the process of healing and uh, moving forward with your life. There was a time where I was about to uh, ask my now wife to marry me and I had to postpone it because of uh, someone else's mismanagement. Um, and through that process, they were malicious in what they were doing. And it uh, made me have to use the planning and the resources that I was going to do to propose to my girlfriend at the time. I had to postpone all of that. Um, long story short, through that process, I became more confident in the husband I would become. I became more sure of who I was marrying, and I think it reassured her uh, of, what, of who I could be as a husband. Um, and thankfully, by the time we did get engaged and we did get married, everything really worked out in God's timing. And I could rattle off 30 things right now of how good God was through that whole process that I could give no credit to but God and allowing me the heart to forgive so that I could begin the process of uh, becoming engaged and the whole process of planning a wedding and actually being married. The process of forgiveness is never easy because we felt those feelings. We were genuinely wronged. And a lot of times we confuse justice with forgiveness. And if we don't see justice, we don't see um, the, we don't see the value in forgiveness because it seems like they're getting off the hook.